Hey everybody. After completing a new PC build over the weekend, I got to thinking about something most of us probably take for granted, and that's our Windows installer. Be it on a CD-ROM, DVD, or on a USB stick, at one point or another you'll probably want or need to create a new Windows installer for any number of reasons. Maybe you no longer have an optical drive, or your installer disk is missing or too scratched, or the USB drive it's on got lost or no longer works. You might also want to keep an up-to-date Windows installer handy, especially if you build PCs often, troubleshoot them for a living or as a hobby, or if you're just the go-to person your family and friends rely on for technical help. Additionally, making a new installer every six months or so ensures you won't have to endure hours worth of updates as Microsoft tends to refresh their media creation tool about twice a year or with each biannual major update. The best part about all of this is creating a media installation, especially on a USB drive, is super easy, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today in today's video. Welcome to the middle of nowhere. Let's go over what you'll need. First, you need a USB drive that's at least 8 gigabytes or greater in capacity. These are dirt cheap to buy and I got that 5 pack of 16 gigabyte sticks for just over 20 bucks. I put links to these drives and others in the description below. I also recommend buying USB 3.0 drives or faster for faster installation. Do note the media creation tool will wipe anything on the drive, so if you're using an older USB drive and it has any files you want to keep, be sure to transfer those or just get a new one. You'll need a functioning PC or a Mac. That's right, I said Mac. You can actually create a Windows installer on a Mac as long as it has an Intel CPU and is not an M1 Mac. This is pretty cool for those dual OS households. I'd love to show you how to create a Windows installer on a Mac, but unfortunately I don't have an Intel Mac for personal use. My work laptop, which is an Intel Mac, doesn't seem to give me the option to create an installer, and I can't record the screen anyway, as I'd like to keep my job. Instead, I'll leave a link to an article detailing how to do it in the description below. If you use the article, definitely let me know if it was helpful or not. Finally, at least according to Microsoft, you'll need an internet connection. I assume this is to get and download the media creation tool as you don't actually need the internet to install Windows, just afterwards to install any updates. Now here's how to create the installer for PC users. First, plug in your USB drive. I recommend plugging it into a motherboard port rather than a front USB port on the case or into a hub to reduce the risk of any kind of random disconnection. Next, go to one of these web addresses to get either the Windows 10 or Windows 11 media creation tool, depending on which version of Windows you want to install or have an installer for. I've also put these links in the description as well. Click download now under create Windows 10 installation media or create Windows 11 installation media. Go to your downloads folder to find the media creation tool executable, right click on it and run it as administrator. Accept any terms without reading them because Ain't nobody got time for that. On the select language and addition screen, I recommend keeping the checkbox checked that says use recommended settings for this PC. But really it's up to you, and after that click next. Select the USB flash drive, radio button, and click next again. Here a list of USB drives will appear where you can put the installer, so it's important you select the correct USB drive if there are multiple drives connected to your computer. If you can, I recommend removing all USB drives except the one you want to use prior to this so there are no accidents. After making your selection, click next for the last time. Now the installation will begin. This can take well over 10 minutes to complete, so go make a cup of coffee, have a bowl of cereal, or even better yet, watch one of my other videos while you wait. When the installation has completed, click finish, and then you'll see the USB drive has been renamed, and if you want to test the installer to see if it works, Open up the drive and double click setup to start the installation. Don't worry, you can X out, of the, X out to stop before the actual installation begins. And that's it! Congratulations, you've made a Windows installer on a USB drive. It's just that easy. Since Murphy's Law reigns supreme when it comes to all things PC, you may need to do some troubleshooting. If after creating the installation tool it won't boot on your PC to install Windows, you may need to reformat the USB drive to be FAT32 instead of NFTS, if it is NFTS or try a different USB port. Reformatting is pretty easy, just right click on the drive in Windows Explorer and click Format. After that, recreate the installer and then retry installing Windows. Other than that, there's nothing else I can really think of that might prevent a successful installer creation, so if you have any tips for troubleshooting the media tool creation, please leave a comment down below. And that's all I have to say about that. I found it pretty easy to create a Windows installer on a USB stick and it's proved to be an invaluable tool for when I build new PCs or just need to repair an installation on my own computer. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, hit that like button and share any questions or comments you might have. I'd love to hear from you. 
You can show your support for the channel by clicking subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification icon so you don't miss out on any future content. And hey, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos I've made. I'm Seth, and I'll see you next time in the middle of nowhere.